Dear viewers, welcome again to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I'm glad you're well from wherever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for always supporting this channel. If you wish to support us, please subscribe to our channel and always give us a like. There is something that I figured that we need to talk about. This is something that will cause insecurity in our country if the move is made. I'm making a specific reference to some of those unfortunate re re comments, unfortunate remarks that have come from Kimani Chungwa, Aaron Cherot, and a host of other leaders from the Kenya Kwanza faction. Before I delve into those remarks, I would like to give you an example. Like for instance, I have a pet and I've noticed that this pet most of the time when it sees something strange, it attempts to bark to please me. You know, it barks then looks me in the face if I'm impressed with the action or the move. Why am I using that example of a pet? I saw a clip of Kimani Chungwa with a host of other leaders from the Kenya Kwanzaa addressing the media and telling the police or telling the president to arrest Raila Molodinga. Now to me, that is a suicidal move. There have been calls from the Kenya Kwanzaa people trying to tell the government or trying to tell their government to arrest Raila Amolo Odinga. <coughs> Let me make a specific reference to the Trump move and the Putin move. Putin has currently, is currently on a warrant of arrest which was issued by the ICC. There have been talks that the former president of the US will be arrested or has been arrested but is planning to be taken to court. So those are some allegations. The fact that on the part of Trump, I could term that still an allegation because there was a video that was circulating, but it happens that that was AI generated. But on the part of Putin, it has been confirmed that ICC have issued a warrant of arrest. So it is the same moves that these people from the Kenya Kwanza government want to be done on Raila Molodinga. The Kenya Kwanza people want a Trump move on Raila Molodinga. Just listening to these unfortunate remarks. Fear nobody. Don't just arrest the young boys and the young girls who are being paid to demonstrate. If the buck stops at the door of Mr. Odinga, go for Mr. Odinga. If the buck stops at his sponsor's door, go for them. Failure to which, then you leave Kenyans to protect themselves and to protect their, their, their property. Now, you can see those are the kind of unfortunate, reckless remarks I term them. Unfortunate because there is no way Ruto will make such a move because after Moy tried it, it did not work. No any other president has tried it. Kibaki didn't try it. Uru never tried it. How will Ruto now try it? That, is that will cause instability, peaceful instability in this country. Remember, many people, many analysts, many political commentaries, have, commentators have said that the country is divided into two. Any attempt to arrest Raila Molodinga will escalate into chaos and will result into bad things for this nation. So these leaders are making calls that they don't know about. In fact, the leader in that video doesn't understand where the struggle of this nation, uh, where the struggle of this nation started. The people like Kimani Chungwa and all those leaders who are talking there, these are people who are not there when this, when Raila, Paul Mwite and also other leaders were championing democracy in this nation. At least the people like Babu Owino appreciate the fact that Raila Molodinga played a key role in shaping this 
uh, democracy of this nation. And that's why Babu Oino had this to say. Is the executive arm. Number two is the judiciary. Number three is the parliament. And the fourth arm of government is Raila Molodinga. So harboring an intention, not arresting, but harboring an intention, just thinking about it, harboring an intention to arrest Baba is tantamount to treason. Now, from that video, it's pretty much clear that Babu Owino is reminding those people who are harboring the intention of arresting Raila Moludinga that they should not even think about it. It is tantamount to treason, according to him. He says that Raila Moludinga, in fact, is not even him saying, when Raila Moludinga announced Monday to be a public holiday, many people thought that that was a joke. But if you look at the videos on that day, you realize that the streets were literally deserted. People were not in the streets. So many people termed that scene as a holiday. That was to many people a holiday because many people did not show up to work because Mandaman was taking place. You saw a video in Kitale, I saw it, and a video in Kakamega. The places, the towns were literally deserted by the people. So to me, I could term that as a positive response. Also, Sonko took to the courts on Friday, Saturday there, trying to force the courts to probably uh, issue a warrant of arrest on Raila Molodinga because he has termed Monday as, a, as a, a holiday. But you see that judge, you know, the judge or the magistrate set Tuesday for a hearing of that determination, whether Raila Molodinga made a, 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 an unlawful request or unlawful call for a holiday. So that case was taken to mentioning was to, all hearing was to be on Tuesday, but I understand uh, Sonko never showed up for that case, and most probably it will be thrown out because the idea was to make to undo Monday the, to to deal with the Monday issue. But then if the case was pushed to 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 Tuesday, that meant Monday was a holiday according to that magistrate. So that was a psychological interpretation, psychological response to uh, to. To, to Sonko that Monday, to the judge, Monday was a very important day for him. So that's why probably pushed the hearing to Tuesday. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying it is very much clear that the people within Kenya Kwanza government are trying to cause chaos by making reckless remarks. You don't want to talk about arresting Raila Molodinga in this country, especially when the year has a very huge following. You don't want to talk about that. So harboring an intention, not arresting, but harboring an intention, just thinking about it, harboring an intention to arrest Baba is tantamount to treason. And I can assure you that if you want this country to go down, try going that way. Just even utter that you want to arrest Raila. Then we are ready to start afresh. So do not think about it. Do not be deceived. Because we clearly know that we have 70% of this country. And I can warn you that if you try to arrest Raila, then even us as members of parliament, we will resign and we will fight a cause that is going to clean this country once and for all. You don't talk about, you know, things like, you know, not allowing Mandamano when it's enshrined the constitution. You don't want to talk about that because that will be causing political instability, causing uh, uh, unrest uh, and, and, and uh, causing a discomfort among the nation, among the citizens, because the citizens now feel that they've been trying, they're, they're trying, that the government is trying to guard them, that they can't speak, they cannot speak from, the, from themselves. And the people within Kisumu will never take that lightly. So, ladies and gentlemen, Kindly share what your thoughts are below the comment section. Once again, I'd like to urge you to stay safe, stay blessed, until we catch up again in our next analysis.